Hi everyone, welcome. Thanks so much for stopping in. I'm Rena, and in today's Boxes and Deals, I have a new box to my channel. Actually, two new boxes from the same company. And this is a fairly new brand, new company, called Lightly Used Books. And the exciting thing to me about this company is that they're only a couple hours away from me. <laughs> and it is a bookstore and is kind of on my way to Sacramento. And we do that at least once a year, usually. So I am definitely going to give her a visit at some point. But she has a couple book boxes. And I was very excited, excited to discover her because I think, number one, these are reasonable prices. It's hard to find a good book box that, you know, is a good price. Um, and especially because one of her options is used books, and it is a really good price for that one. And I prefer, personally prefer used books anyway, because you're going to get some vintage books, you're going to get out of print books, and you're going to get a good deal on your books too. So I actually got two of her three book boxes. I wanted to try them out and show them to you. So the first box is a monthly blind date box. And so this is what this one looks like inside. And I got two and look how she wrapped each one. So we have presents to open and I love the wrapping. So we have a bookmark in there. We even have a seal, a wax seal. And then we have about the book and look at that. It's so pretty. That is amazing that she added that extra touch. That is time consuming. So just amazing. But this tells about the book that we got. So with this one, this is the blind date box. It is only $10 a month. You can, you can purchase it as a one time uh, for $10 or you can purchase it as a subscription and it would be $10 a month. So you can choose to get two paperback books or one hardback book. And then you can choose your genre that you would like to get or surprise me. And then you might get a bonus like little surprise or something. But for this one, it, it we got a little um, door hanger. Enter at your own risk. I'm reading romance. Or go away, I'm reading. <laughs> That's awesome. And then we've got this like I showed you, this is actually a magnet. I have a code that you can get $5 off of your purchase of $25 or more. That could be off of one of the boxes, their main box, their monthly book box, not the blind date box, unless you make an additional purchase um, or out of their shop. So we're gonna open the smaller book first and then I'll read the little summary here. I did um, mention to her, I was messaging her with her back and forth, um, and I men mentioned, you know, surprise me is fine, even if she surprised me with either two uh, two paperbacks or one hardback, I didn't care either way. Um, but I told her that I'm interested in historical, it could be historical fiction, it could be history, it could be any type of history. I love historical books. And I love history and I especially love studying about my ancestry and where they came from. And so I asked for specifically if she had any on hand um, historical books from England as well as because a lot of my ancestry came from all over England, especially Northern England and even Scotland, but or California history because I also have some family that have been here since before the gold rush. So since uh, California was still owned by Mexico. <laughs> so I, I have an ancestry from way back then from California. So I wanted California history or England history especially. So she took that in mind and it looks like from the summaries that we received that both of these are um, UK history. So the first book is called A Presumption of Death. Looks like a World War II, possibly. 
This is by Jill Patton Walsh and Dorothy L. Sayers. It is a new Lord Peter Whimsey Harriet slash Harriet Vane mystery. And the summary here says, while Lord Peter is abroad on a secret mission, Harriet Vane, now lead, lead, Lady Peter, <laughs> Leader Peter, <laughs> now Lady Peter Whimsey takes their children to safety in the country, but there's no escape from war. Rumors of spies abound, glamorous RAF pilots and flirtatious land girls scandalize the villagers, and the blackout makes rural, rural, rural lands as sinister as London's alleys. And when a practice air raid ends with a young woman's death, it's almost a shock to hear that the cause is not enemy action, but murder. Or is it? With Peter away, Harriet sets out to find out who done it and the chilling reason why. So yeah, World War II era. So I'm excited to read that one. And then our second book, a little bigger. I'm already interested just from the, the cover. So this is called The Paris Secret. A, oh, yeah. A priceless Dior collection reveals a heartbreaking story of wartime friendship, love, and sacrifice. This is New York Times bestselling author of The Paris Seamstress, Natasha Lester. So the summary, England, 1939, also the same era as wartime. The Penrose sisters couldn't be more different. Skye is a daring and brash pilot and a liberty, and liberty is the one to defy her at every turn. Even if women aren't allowed in the Royal Air Force, Skye is determined to help the war effort. She's thrilled when it reunites her with her child, childhood soulmate, Nicholas. She's less than... She's less thrilled to learn Nicholas is now engaged to an enigmatic French woman named Margot Jordan. Then Paris, 1947, eight years later. Designer Christian Dior unveils his glamorous first collection to a world weary of to a world weary to a world weary of war and grief. He names his debut fragrance Miss Dior in tribute to his love his in tribute to his beloved sister, Catherine, who forged a friendship with Skye and Margot through her work with the French Resistance. Present day, fashion conservator Kat Jordan discovers a priceless, priceless collection of Dior gowns in her grandmother's vacant cottage. As she delves into the mystery of their origin, Kat begins to doubt everything she thought she knew about her gra beloved grandmother. That sounds so interesting. I'll probably read that one first, but they both sound interesting. So they're both, during the war, very different stories and very different subjects. So that is the Blind Date with a Book Box. That is only $10 per month. So I got two books for $10 curated for me so I didn't have to go searching. I love going in bookstores though, but you know, it's kind of hard to find just those ones you want. So having that, you know, you have your idea of what you're looking for and you, you get it sent right to your door. That's awesome. So this one is the monthly book box. And this one you don't choose. This one is a specially curated one every month. You'll get a brand new book. This one is $25 a month because it is a brand new book. And... It is romance. So as of now, they just have the romance books for this book box. Um, again, they're brand new. Plus you get some bush, bookish goodies to go along with it. So $25, brand new book, bookish goodies. There is a shipping charge as well. So these are not, these are prices not including shipping. That's what it looks like when I open it. Also well wrapped. Looks like I'm getting gifts. So this one is the bookish gift that goes along with, it's, I think it was a spring theme, and we got a book sleeve. It's very well made and kind of plush, so it will protect your books, or you can put, you know, put it in there to go, like on the airplane or just on your trip or 
to the beach or whatever and it will protect it awesome I love the color she couldn't have chose better I mean look at that <laughs> that is perfect but I think there were two different prints that you could have received and I'm so happy with this one because I love it all right and then that's what that looks like so pretty so we got a stash tea English breakfast so you got your cup of tea and your new book another bookmark and a pin. I don't even want to open it. It's too pretty. Okay. And it matches the book sleeve too. So this month, it's shiny, brand new. This is called Things We Never Got Over by Lucy Score. Looking for a synopsis. Bearded bad boy Barber Knox prefers to live his life the way he takes his coffee, alone. Unless you count his basset hound, Waylon. Knox doesn't tolerate drama, even when it comes in the form of a stranded runaway bride. Meanwhile, Naomi wasn't just running away from her wedding. She was riding to the rescue of her estranged twin, to knock him out. Virginia, a rough around the edges town where disputes are settled the old fashioned way, with fists and beer, usually in that order. Too bad for Naomi, her evil twin hasn't changed at all. After helping herself to Naomi's car and cash, Tina leaves her with something unexpected the niece Naomi didn't know she had. Now she's stuck in town with no car, no job, no plan, and no home, with an 11 year old going on 30 to take care of. There's a reason Knox doesn't do complications or high-maintenance women, especially not the romantic ones. But since Naomi's life imploded right in front of him, the least he could do is help her out of her jam. And as just as soon as she stops getting into new trouble, he can leave her alone and get back to his peaceful, solitary life. At least, that's the plan, until the trouble turns to real danger. And this is a nice thick book. This is thicker than the other two. So just as an example, yes, with plenty of room. Like it. Awesome. I am excited about this book. That one again is $25 a month plus shipping. Then the third option they have is actually a young adult fiction uh, book box. So this one, it could be various genres. And it also includes bookish goodies. That one is $20 plus shipping. And I believe this is, I was thinking a uh, spoiler, but I'm not sure. It might just be advertising some new books that they could be selling. If I have a spoiler for May, I will let you know. You can, if she has any left, you can order the current month subscription for the young adult or the monthly one by the end of the month or until they sell out. So the pre-sale for the next month will start on the 15th of the previous month. So April 15th started the pre-sale for May's box. May's theme is the book After by Anna Todd, which is also now a major motion picture. So that one, of course, is also a romance. And she also has some past boxes available in her shop, as well as used books, new books, and you can just go shopping online. So you can do any of these as a one time. Like I said, she also has past ones you can do. You could also prepay for an annual subscription. So if you want it for yourself or even as a gift, that might be a good gift. Um, you can do that as well and just pay for it all at once. Again, you can use boxes and deals for $5 off your purchase. So the main book box, this one, is $25. So you could get $5 off of that. Or you can do multiple purchases. Um, say the blind book box and the young adult box. I can't talk. Young adult book box or some things from her shop or whatever you want to do. Any purchase of $25 or more, you get $5 off with boxes and deals. 
Now with the options, the genre selections for the blind date box, she has so many to choose from. I'll read you off the list so you have an idea. General fiction, thriller, romance, fantasy romance, general romance, biography, military fiction, military nonfiction, history, western, historical fiction, true crime, young adult, sci-fi fantasy, contemporary romance, historical romance, Christian nonfiction, Christian fiction, history, mystery, horror, children's chapter, erotica, or you can say surprise. And once again, you could probably, you know, write a note and just say, I especially like this, but that doesn't guarantee that you'll get that specific thing. So mainly is, you know, those are the guidelines is your genre. And if you want two paperbacks or one hardback, you never know what you get. That one is not by a monthly theme, like the monthly book box. So that one again is called Blind Date with a book box. So this is a family owned by Jenny and Justin and their four kids. Um, it's a funny story. She accidentally bought the bookstore. It was a bookstore that had closed in 2018 in Turlock, California. And she was walking by, I think sometime in 2019, she was walking by hoping that maybe they had opened and they hadn't. She called Justin, her husband, complaining, you know, they're still not open. And so he's like, well, well then why don't you find the owner? And she's like, and what, buy the bookstore? And he's like, well, yeah, why not? <laughs> Something like that. So she actually, you know, jokingly, but she actually found the owner, met up with her, um, the inherited owner, and made a joking offer. And then later, the owner actually contacted her and took her up on the offer. So she called her husband again and said, guess what? I just accidentally bought a bookstore, which was her life dream anyway. So it just kind of fell into her lap. I think that is amazing, a fun story. And I can't wait to go meet her in person and shop in her bookstore. But in the meantime, I did do the book of the month box to as a one time just to show you but I did go ahead and subscribe to that blind date with a book box so I'll let you know each month what I get again ten dollars a month plus shipping for two books yes please that are curated for me with my theme and I'm supporting a small business and their family so all great things what do you think Again, boxes and deals for $5 off of your purchase of $25 or more at Lightly Used Book Box, and I'll put the link in my description below. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!